Hi, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Arjun, and I'm going to be giving you guys a quick lesson over photosynthesis today. The real reason I'm doing this is just I wanted to post one more, one last time on this YouTube channel before I graduate from high school. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So today's topic is going to be photosynthesis. I'm going to be covering the basics, then going a little bit about what the basic stuff really means. But this should give you a good context about more about photosynthesis. Okay, let's just start off. So what is photosynthesis? Well, photosynthesis is the way plants make glucose. Glucose. Or C6H12O6. So, and what is glucose? Well, glucose is the food for plants. Uh, unlike us, they can just straight up get up and go eat something. They have to make their own food. And they do this through using light energy, carbon dioxide, which we breathe out, and water, which they get from the water, and other minerals. Okay, let's see how exactly everything happens. So, light energy plus CO2, which is carbon dioxide, plus H2O gives couple things it gives the sugar which is glucose some textbooks or teachers may refer to glucose as sugar because mm, glucose is a sweet material and many people find them as glucose okay so it produces the sugar and oxygen O2 which we are needed to breathe in this is why plants are considered really great because they provide sugar or glucose which many people eat like the vegetarians and vegans they truly depend on plants to survive and oxygen which every single human being depends to survive and this is the basics of photosynthesis the use of light energy carbon dioxide and water to create oxygen and sugar but let's look at what really happens behind each step so there's two parts to the photosynthesis the light dependent reaction and the light independent reaction in the light dependent reaction the light energy and water is combined through this, the light energy beams through H2O and splits up H, hydrogen, and oxygen. This is, this is the part of light independent reaction. And what is the use of this? Well, ADP is always inside a light reaction or ri light dependent section. This part is called the thylakoids. And thylakoids is where this happens. So ADP resides inside of the thylakoids, and we can see ADP as, let's say, uh, more like a uncharged battery, because it's pretty useless and ha doesn't have much uses. But ATP, on the other hand, is a charged battery, and this has plenty of uses. But how does the light reaction make ADP go to ATP? Well, if you look closely, we can see oxygen is actually a small molecule it can easily get outside of the thylakoid and outside of the membrane and go outside just like this where hydrogen as you see in the picture is stuck inside and they have no way of living leaving the cell and as every cell tries to always leave the cell the only way it's possible is something called the atp atp protein thing protein chamber this is like a small gap and the only and hydrogen goes in through this and outside but in doing so the pl protons of hydrogen gets added into ADP charging it and making it ATP and ATP is really important for our next step Calvin cycle or the light independent reaction which does not require any light and coming back to the old basic thing you can say I said light energy carbon and water they all come together at the same time well that's not the case in the light dependent water and light is used and carbon dioxide is not used until the light independent reaction which is called the calvin cycle okay what really happens in the calvin cycle well that's a real process of making sugar when we when most people talk about photosynthesis they talk about the calvin cycle the light reaction just basically Let's say if a sugar is like making a dish, ATP cuts up all the fruits and vegetables to make the dish. And the ingredient for this 
reaction was going to be ATP and endane BPH, which both of them gets combined through the hydrogen. So what is the use of ATP and NADPH? Well, as I said, like a ATP is a charged battery, and we can know we know electrons are the charges that people give off, people and stuff give off, and proton is the other one. Electron can be labeled as negative, proton is positive. As we can see in the picture coming back, if this ADP is truly ADP positive, meaning that it has more protons than electrons. So when ATP went into the Calvin cycle, it donated his electrons, charging the Calvin cycle and allowing to move. So what else gets combined in here? Well, we already got our hydrogen. We need carbon and oxygen. And the carbon dioxide comes in, goes through the Calvin cycle. Now, truly, there's a lot of stuff to Calvin cycle, but I'm not going to go into that this video, but it is. There's going to be like uh, five or six reaction in the Calvin cycle and it truly makes sugar. But it truly does not make sugar. It makes something called G3P. And G3P is like, let's say it's like the basic piece of a Lego. The plants can use G3P to make whatever they want. And in most cases, they make sugar as they need it to rise. That's the, really the main point of Calvin cycle. Now I'll just move to the key points of the video just to finalize everything. So starting with the basic, oh, my bad, basic, okay, basics, light energy from the sun gets combined with water, H2O, which gets combined with carbon dioxide to form glucose. And if you look at more of the, if you go more than the basics, we can see the light dependent reaction and the light independent reaction. In the light dependent reaction, there is light and oxygen or water, oxygen, and this produces oxygen, ATP, and NADPH and in the light dependent reaction there is ATP NADPH and carbon dioxide and what does this produce G3P or for the basics glucose and that's the basic overview of this video I hope you guys learned something new from this video and I hope you guys have a good day. I'll catch you guys later.